Now, clave loop number one is on page 28. It uses that clave rhythm we just learned, which is also called a son, or S-O-N, clave. And we're combining our A sixth chord with now an E9 chord. Now, we've already learned an E9 as a funk chord, but this is going to be a different voicing. So if you look up at the chord chart and down at the tab, you'll see it's essentially an E7 chord along with the third finger on the first string, second fret. So again, this voicing of the E9, or E7 add 9, same thing really, is a lot more open and airy. You have the A6, then the E7 add 9. You hear that top F sharp? Kind of holding everything together and kind of lifting up the sound. And you think of these rhythms with dancing and movement, and it's a very lilting, lifting sound. So here, we're first going to use the A6 on the first measure, the E7 add 9 on the second, and third measures going back to the A6. And we're going to play this first as it's written, as a 3-2 clave. And then we're going to reverse it and actually play it as a 2-3 clave. So this is, again, clave loop number one, a son clave in A. One and two and three and four and E seven add nine A six again Now you see on the music that we have player or entrance number one on the first measure. Well if you use measure two to begin entrance number two or player number two, you're going to affect be playing a two, three clave. We'd start on the E7 add nine, one, second measure of that, back to the A6, continue, E7 add nine, back to A6. Kind of like you're playing around. So you could have two players, one beginning on the 3-2, and the second beginning on the 2-3, and kind of interweave those together. And that is clave loop number one.